My name is Attorney Jason Lyle, and I am the Dads.Law Attorney for Northeastern Oklahoma. So you might ask yourself, if you're going through a divorce, how do we divide our assets? How does Oklahoma choose to divide assets if the court needs to be involved? The simple answer is, and I like to use this analogy with my clients, it's like taking all of your things and putting them in a big pile and starting out by splitting that pile in half, and then taking all of your debts and putting them in a pile, which would essentially be a hole, right? Debts are a hole and splitting the hole in half. And you take half the hole and you take half the pile, okay? You could also think of it, if you're more accounting-minded, as a balance sheet, where debts are debits and um, assets are credits, okay? Now, that's where the court starts from, but it's a court of equity. Uh, family law courts in Oklahoma are courts of equity, which just simply means fairness. There are lots of reasons why it might be more fair or make more sense to give one party more assets and the other party more debts, or give one party less assets or give the other party less debt. One of the concepts that's often misunderstood in Oklahoma is joint industry. The fact of the matter is, under Oklahoma law, everything you as a couple acquired through joint industry while you were married is a marital asset. It does not matter who had the out-of-home job, who made more money, whose names are on the bank accounts, how the property is titled. The husband's name could be on a bank account, the wife's name could be um, the name under which a car is titled. It's all joint assets. The only time it's separate property is if it came as a gift from a family member, an inheritance, etc., or if you can identify property that you had before you were married. Um, a lot of times that property, if you've been married for a while, got commingled. What does commingled mean? It means mixed in with all your other property, especially if it's like cash or something. If it's a vintage car and you had it before you were married, that's easy to identify. If it was $10,000 in a coffee can and it's been put in a bank account, you, just, you can't identify it anymore. So um, how you divide assets? You have to identify what's marital property and what's not. You have to get over the fact that everything that was purchased and all debts that were acquired while you were married, even if they didn't have your permission, for example, to open up a credit card, are joint debts. You start with a 50-50 number, and then you have an advocate, a lawyer, advocate as to what's fair with regard to coming off of that split debt and split property. Um, it's very important that someone advocates for you in this way because it probably isn't perfectly fair to divide it 50-50, but that's where the courts will go if somebody doesn't advocate for something different on your behalf. So if you have any questions about how to divide debt or how to divide assets in a divorce and about how that will go, my name is Attorney Jason Lyle. I am the Daz.Law attorney here in Northeastern Oklahoma. Please feel free to reach out to me because I would love to consult with you about that. Thank you.